What's up YouTube, this is Matt and today I'm going to show you guys how to design an iPhone stand. This is going to be in conjunction with a video that I'll be uploading in a couple days that will show you how to build the stand that we're designing today. So let's jump right in. Alright, SketchUp has finally decided to load up and let's dive right in. So this is going to be a stand that's adjustable and we're going to design it in two parts and kind of put it together to show you the uh, final product. Alright so the materials that I want to use for this build are half inch and quarter inch plywood so what we're gonna do is start out by drawing a block that's five inches by four inches so we can just go like that four inches and we can go like that, four inches by five inches. This piece is gonna be made out of half inch plywood, so I'm going to raise it up half an inch, right there. I'll just zoom in. Now I'm going to draw the sort of base that the uh, main part of the stand is going to hook onto, and that's gonna be centered with the back and an inch in. So I'm just going to find the center point, midpoint, and I'm going to draw in an inch. There we go. And then because the piece that's going to be sticking up right here is going to be a half an inch piece of plywood, I'm going to draw out a quarter of an inch that way and draw out a quarter of an inch this way. Now this piece is only going to be an inch deep so I'm going to draw out an inch this way draw out a half an inch this way and connect the dot right here now I'm going to delete this guideline right here and I'm going to extrude this up four and a half inches so I'll just do four and one half inches there we go now I'm going for this part of the base I'm going to um, basically round this over so what I'm gonna do is just find wherever half an inch down is which is right there actually I'll go a quarter inch down then I'm just going to take the arc tool drag it across and pull up and there is our arc I'm going to extrude these away and there we have the base and there we have the base of the stand all that I have to do is add a um, a hole in the middle what I'm gonna do now is find the midpoint and draw about three-eighths of an inch down and take the circle tool and draw out a circle that's three sixteenths of an inch wide. Now I'm just going to delete this guideline right here and extrude the circle through. Now I'm just going to extrude the circle through. And it's just going to be one half and an inch in there now the base of our stand is finished now to work on the actual um, part that's gonna hold your phone so I'm just gonna work on it right here first what I'm going to do is draw a rectangle that is three inches by six inches so that's pretty close but I can just go three inches by six inches and there we go and because this is going to be made out of quarter inch plywood I'm just going to extrude it a quarter of an inch there we go and now I'm going to uh, make the little things that are going to hold the phone actually onto it this part is going to be made out of tiny pieces of um, quarter inch and one half inch thick plywood so the first part of it is going to be a 
piece that is one inch by half inch by a half inch. So now I'm going to draw a box that's half inch by one inch. So I'm just going to do really rough. There we go. So this is going to be 8 sixteenth, not 78 sixteenths, but 8 sixteenths by one inch. Now all that I'm going to do is extrude this three-fourths of an inch because it's going to be a um, half inch with a quarter inch piece on top. There we go. Now I'm going to come a quarter of an inch down this way and just draw across right there and extrude this out half an inch, which is right there. Now what I'm going to do is just duplicate this on the other side. All right, and all you have to do to rotate it is select it and then you have to pick a point where you want to rotate it. And we're wanting to rotate this along its side, so I'm just going to pick a point that's about in the center, start on an axis like that, and rotate it the amount I want. Now, let's say I want it at about 45 degrees. is probably where I want it to sit most of the time, so I'll just have it like that for display purposes. Now what I'm going to do is find the center point on the back so that I can uh, add the back post. So the just to find the center all you have to do is find the center along one of the sides drag across and there is your midpoint. So for this part it's going to be basically an inch by inch uh, part right here and it's going to be extruded out an inch and then the rest of the way it's going to be two posts that are quarter inch that are going to fit over that half inch post on the base so you'll see what I mean in just a second so all I'm going to do is drag up um, half an inch this way half an inch this way a full inch this way full inch this way and a full inch this way and just complete the square like that now that that's done I'm just deleting all of these guidelines and now what I'm gonna do is divide this square into three sections the first section is going to be a quarter inch. Then there's going to be a half inch section along here. And then by drawing the line down, that adds a second quarter inch section there. So each of these quarter inch sections are going to be extruded two and a half inches. If I can do this right, and there's two and a half for that one, and two and a half for this one. All right, that's good. And then the center piece is just going to be extracted three-fourths of an inch. There we go. And I am going to round off these edges the same way I did that one. I'm just going to bring this down one quarter of an inch. Take the um, arc tool. If I can find the end point there we go just drag it across and drag it to the top and then just extrude these corners off extruded one and extruded two all right to draw a circle I'm gonna do is draw a line along here about three-eighths of an inch then bring out my circle tool and do a hole that's about three sixteenths of an inch now I'm going to get rid of these guidelines that are right there and right there. And I'm just going to extrude this in a quarter of an inch to make it go all the way through. All 
All right, now that I have that done, I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other one. All right, guys, now that that's done, all we have to do is move this up to the base and we'll have the completed model, which will be a good guide for when we're building it in the shop. So all we have to do is select it and drag it up there. Now, dragging it up there isn't always going to be perfect because it's hard to really see in three dimensions where you're sort of dragging stuff but it takes a couple tries but usually it's not too bad all right guys there you go it's up on this model and it's at a little bit of a weird angle but what's cool about this design is that you can basically change it to whatever angle you want so if we want to rotate it to see what it'll be like at um, whatever degree you want. See, this is basically the idea with the wing nut and a bolt in there. You'll be able to put it to whatever angle you want it. Probably something about there is where I would have it usually. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see the uh, actual build video of this. Um, and this is Matt from Tech by Matt signing out.